Hi beautiful people, you are welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you are most welcome. My name is Chinyo Echichi for short. And for my returning subscribers, you are the absolute best. Thanks for always coming back. So today guys, it's all about the stitching of this beautiful cut together blazer jacket. I already have the pattern drafting tutorial up on my channel. You can always check that out. But today is all about the making of the jacket itself. Can you see? Can you see? So let's get right into the making and if you're interested in knowing how this piece was done, sit right back, relax and enjoy. And I even gave you the touch up with my hair ruffles. Can you see? Okay. Here are the fabrics I'll be using. I'll be using this one and I'll be using this. And then I place the pattern paper on it and then cut out exactly what I have on the pattern paper just as so. I'll be using two fabric for this jacket. This is because I want to play around with these two similar fabric that has almost similar pattern. So I cut it out just like so. And here we have a cut out fabric like so. This is the pattern and this is the fabric. And then I try folding it out just to see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And see the cut together color. You can see how it has given us that cut together look. And then I remove the pattern. And then this also is the back pattern, just like I said earlier in the during the cutting tutorial. I've shown on how to cut the back pattern. And then I move to the front fabric itself just like this and then i start working on this you can see i'm using two different fabric because i just want to play around and see what it should look like and guys next is to cut out the face in the interface and i'll be using the same pattern of fabric to cut out the face now i'll be cutting along this part and i'll stop here this is because i'm going to be using a plain interfacing to complete to complete the width of the interfacing so this is the length of the interface now be cutting to be completed with a plain interfacing okay so I cut it out along the same shape just like this I get the plain interfacing like I said to complete the width of the interfacing cutting and I'll be cutting out along this part remember there, is, there will be a joining here so i'm going to be extending it by one inch and this is the one inch so i cut out along this part this is the interfacing and then i open up the folded area just like this i open it up for stitching proper so i open it up and this is what the interfacing looks like by the time i place it over as if it is stitched together and by the time i stitch together it's going to give me the same shape with the jacket itself so i take this out and then go stitch down the interfacing together so that i can have one piece interfacing and i stitch after stitching i'm going to be um fixing a stay on it whichever stay you want to if you want to use a hair stay if you want to use a paper stay if you want to use a gum stay whichever stay that is available to you you can use so i have it stitched and then the stay placed over the interfacing i place the interfacing on the stay because that is what is going to be showing on the outside okay that's the lapel area that's why i place the interfacing on the sorry the stay on the interfacing next i'll be joining the two parts of the jacket together with half an inch on this part that's the neck line area i'll be joining it on that part and now i've joined it with half an inch and then i open it up always open up and iron it flat okay i always open up and iron it flat because this is a jacket and we want a perfect and neat finishing you do the same thing to the interfacing open and iron out and then i bring it together like this you know fold it over place the uh, interfacing on the main fabric in order to mark out the dart area so here's the mark out that area i notch it to know exactly where my dart should lie so i notch out the dart area measure the length to know where the dart is going to terminate so this is the breast point where i want the dart to terminate so from here to here is going to be the length of the dart that's at the breast point exactly so i stitch from this part to this part so i'm going to be folding it over iron it out to get out the dart line so i've ironed it out and i'm going to be stitching from this part to this part okay so i do the same thing to all parts of the front jacket even the back is going to be stitched but this is the front we are working on for now so this is the dart being stitched on all the four parts of the jacket that's the interface 
interfacing and the main fabric itself and i iron out this is what it looks like so i place the interfacing over the main jacket itself just like this so this is the neckline area and the shoulder line but well, i'm going to be stitching on the lapel area first i'm going to be stitching from here to here and from here to here so guys this is what the interfacing stitch down area that the lapel area looks like so i stitch it down with half an inch and this is what it should look like both the front and the back part you can see then i notch along the stitched area the pointed area you try to notch very close and be uh, careful so that you don't cut it open so you notch if you don't want to notch you can cut very close to the stitched line okay this is so, so that to give you a flat uh, landing by the time you finish ironing out so you turn it inside out please the pointed area make sure you try to push it out as much as possible so that it can give you give us that pointed look at the end of the day so i turn it out and this is what it should look like as you turn out you iron out flat okay so as you sew as you stitch you iron as you go this is a jacket so i stitch out and you can see that this is what it looks like and then i iron the inner part of the that's the interfacing area of the jacket as well and this is what it should give us next i fold over the lapel area just like this you can see that this is already what it should be looking like this is giving us that jacket look so we have iron the interfacing the, sorry the lapel area and this is what it should be giving us without being told it's already giving us the jacket look and it cut together one at that you can see the cut together neckline area it is called a cut together because the collar is not attached to it the collar is cut together and this is what it should look like so i place this aside bring the back part I fold it over this way. I'm going to be stitching along this part, even though I didn't cut it open. I'll be stitching along this part. This is to give the back part a shape. Okay, I stitch it and then put insert my dart, and this is what it should look like, both the interfacing and the fabric itself. And I iron out. So next, I get the front part of my jacket and then bring the back part as well place it over like so. Get the interfacing, place it over like so and then you have it just like this and this is the part you'll be stitching from this part all along this is the neckline area this is the shoulder line area so you have the front part of the jacket in between this is the front in between the back and the interfacing so next i proceed over to the sewing machine to stitch this part together that's the neckline area and then the shoulder line area so this is what i'm going to be stitching all together as you stitch this part i stitch along this part please be very careful do not be in a hurry especially as a beginner please take your time so that you get the shape of what you are stitching and then it's not looking all all squeezed all rough at the end of the day so just take your time so that everything comes out very neat and good at the end of the day so i'm going to be stitching along the neckline area and the call and the shoulder line together please watch very closely as you stitch along when you get to this point where you where there is a curve so you stop raise your footer and then try to pull everything together so that you can stitch the shoulder line area and this is the finishing of the shoulder line area so you can see this is the neckline the collar area sorry the neckline area and then this is the shoulder area so you can see how the shape goes you stitch the neckline area and then so we are going to be stitching on the second part just like so just like we did at the front side we stitch to this point and then we we'll finish up at the shoulder line area okay just like this and then you terminate the stitching at this point guys please if you haven't subscribed please do well by clicking on the subscribe button put up your post notification bell to get notified whenever i put up a new video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up this is your support i plead for thank you guys so you stitch when you get to the curve uh, sorry the curve area here yeah? when you get to the curve area as well you raise your foot the foot of your machine and then stitch along the shoulder line area just like this and guys this is how we finish this is how we stitch the neckline area and the shoulder line area and then you notch along the stitched area you notch along along the neckline area because it's a curve so that it can relax very well so you can see what the stitching looks like and see the shape it gave us this is the shoulder line this is the neckline area and then I proceed with the notching all around the neckline area. So be careful when you're notching so you don't cut over the stitched area. And then after notching, I turn inside out. So I turn it inside out and this is what it should 
give us so this is what the outer part of our jacket looks like and the inner part as well you can see how neat is looking everything is turned inside out this is what this is the look i actually want so this is our jacket i bring it to the ironing table to get the right thing done so this is the neckline area stitched down looking very clean looking very neat and this is what the inner part also looks like you can see i did an inner stitching i want every stitching to be inside i don't want to see any stitch on the outside so this is what i did you can see how jacket like this is looking like already guys this is the back part you have everything sorted almost done at this point so i give everything a good press at the end of the day i press as i go i, I can't do without that so i give it a good press and then i place it over okay so, so i can stitch on the side i'm going to be stitching on the side and this is going to be like almost the finishing part of the jacket okay i'm going to be stitching the lining to lining and the fabric to fabric and guys i'm done stitching like i said i did an inner stitching because i don't want any stitch to show on the outside of my jacket so i open up the seams this way iron out i it flat okay i don't have all my seams it's going to give us a very neat and perfect look at the end of the day and guys our jacket is almost set guys this is almost set and this is what our jacket looks like looking very beautiful i have just a little to do on this jacket and i am done this is the back part looking all beautiful and next i'll be attaching the lower part of the dress and then the sleeve area because this is a, a dress jacket okay so that is what i'll be doing guys this is absolutely beautiful what do you think about this cut together jacket please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and so guys let's see the finishing look guys this is the final look of our beautiful cut together jacket guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye